hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's on similar triangles in this video we'll be looking at two similar triangles and getting the triangles stated in the correct order of their similarities then we go ahead to list the corresponding sites and form the ratios of their corresponding sites from there we will be using them to calculate the sides of triangles so let's go with few explanation on similar triangles the triangles ABC and PQR below are similar triangles so we go whether the triangles have been stated in the correct order of their similarities or not but we need to note that angle A here is equal to angle P here because this angle is equal to this angle that is the way with this double axe here double axe here means they are the same so in the same vein angle B is equal to angle Q and invariably angle C is equal to angle R from here we have seen that uh, one angle here is equal to the other angle here so we now say they are therefore set to be equiangular so the angles here are equal to the angles in the other triangle so also this is always true for similar triangles it's always true for similar triangles even though they are what they are turned around you still find a way of saying that they are similar triangles that is to say all similar triangles are equiangular triangles we look at their corresponding sides um, from here if you place them side by side and the correct order of the triangle you discover that AB corresponds to PQ also BC corresponds to QR and uh, AC corresponds to PR so we can see this is how to demonstrate that one side corresponds to the other side but meanwhile in assuming you don't have the opportunity of placing them on each other the best way to look at the corresponding sides since the other time we have seen the angles that are equal to the other angles so we said a b c in the correct order of their equality we state the triangle a b c which is a b c is equal to p q r so p q r we have seen now that the triangles have been stated in the correct order of their similarities so from here we can form their corresponding sides we say a b which is a b the first two letters a b corresponds to pq which is very correct here and also the last two letters which is bc bc correspond to the last two letters here which is qr and the first and last letter that is ac ac here corresponds to the first and last two letters in the second triangle that's p r so this is another way of stating the corresponding sides then we should know that the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal so what we say here now if you look at AB which corresponds to PQ forming their ratio that is AB over PQ is equal to the ratio of the corresponding sides of the next two sides that is BC over QR and also AC over PR so these 
are the statements of the ratio of their corresponding sides being equal and that's the best way to do this and then next slide we'll be looking at solving some problems problem one given that the triangles below are similar calculate ac and xz so in our final solution to this problem we need to state the triangles in the correct order of their similarities so the best way to do this is just to pick one of the triangles that's triangle xyz i've just picked the first triangle xyz Pick the triangle in any order you wish then the next thing is this is similar to what angle in the second triangle is equal to x so this x has single line and b has single line which means x is equal to b so we put down the b and uh, also the next letter here is y y is equal to c here so we put down c and invariably z is equal to a so we have it as a a therefore the triangles have been stated in the correct order of their similarities so we go ahead to form the ratios of their corresponding sides we told you in the explanation uh, section we said x y that's the first two letters over b c the first two letters here in the second triangle is equal to the last two letters that's y z over the last two letters here c a is equal to the first and last letters that is going to be x z over b a so we have fitted the ratios of their corresponding sides now we substitute the values of those sides so from here we have x y to be 8 so we have 8 over 6 bc is 6 bc is 6 centimeters this is equal to yz yz which is equal to 4 over ca ca is one of the sides we are looking for so we have it as ca there this is equal to xz xz is also one of the sides we are looking for over ba our ba is 7 so we have it over 7 then we now pair the ratios to solve the unknowns so the first one here i am going to pair the first ratio with the second one so i keep the third one now i make ca the subject of the formula which is see the same thing as ac so i have it as ac cross multiplying we multiply this by this that will give us a 24 over this 8 so 8 divided by 8 gives 1 24 divided by 8 gives 3 so ac is equal to 3 centimeters so we are done with that then again we are pairing the first ratio and the last ratio so we keep the central ratio so that making xz the subject of the formula we have a 8 times 7 which is 56 over 6 so you see 2 goes here gives a 3 2 goes into 56 gives 28 so 28 over 3 as mixed fraction that will be 28 divided by 3 gives a 9 because 9 times 3 is 27 remainder 1 over 3 so we have xz to be 9 whole number 1 over 3 centimeters and uh, with this we have done justice to problem 1 then we now go ahead to problem 2 for problem 2 find the value of x and of y in the triangle below um, we have two triangles combined here so we are going to compare the larger triangle with the smaller triangle so we just pick one as usual I said you just pick one that is triangle 
CDE, that's the larger triangle, CDE. We now look at which of those angles are similar to the other angles. So this is similar to triangle C, the smaller triangle is CQP and C is the common angle to both triangles. So C is equal to C, the reason being the common angle. Then we look at D. D is equal to Q. Since QP is parallel to DE, therefore D is corresponding angle to Q. So we place Q there. And now also um, E is equal to this angle, still corresponding angle. So we place our P. So we have stated the triangles in the correct order of their similarities. That this triangle CDE is similar to triangle CQP. So we now go ahead to state the ratios of their corresponding sides. So we have CD, the first two letters, over CQ, that is the first two letters in the second triangle, is equal to DE, that is the last two letters, over QP, which is also the last two letters there, equal to the first and the last letters, that is CE over CP, which is the first and last two letters. So we have stated the ratios of their corresponding sides. We go ahead now to find the value of the sides CD. CD, that is 10 plus 5, which gives a 15 over 10. Where is the 10? CQ. CQ is 10 centimeters. So we have it as over 10. Then DE. DE is X. That will be equal to X over QP. QP is 4. So we have it as X over 4. Then equal to CE. CE. CE is 8 plus Y. So we have it as 8 plus Y over CP. CP is 8. So we have it over 8. Then we have the three ratios equal to one another. Again, we pair them. We are going to pair the first two. So we keep the third ratio. And uh, making X the subject of the relation, we cross multiply. We said 15 times 4, which is 60 over 10. 10 divided by 10 gives 1. 60 divided by 10 gives 6, so x is equal to 6 centimeters. Then we are done with that. Again, we pair the first ratio here with the third ratio. Then we keep the center ratio. By cross multiplying, we have 10 into 8 plus y is equal to 15 times 8, which gives uh, 120. Then, um, with this, I can divide both sides by 10. If I divide this by 10, I have 8 plus y. Divide this by 10, which gives 12. So, taking this to this side, I have y equal to 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 centimeters. And uh, with this, we have done justice to problem 2 by finding the value of x and of y. So we go to the next problem, that's problem 3. For problem 3, calculate the unknown sides and angles in the triangles below. Um, here, we are going to consider the first triangle, that is from triangle XYZ. Since the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, to get angle Y, we can just say 180 minus the sum of the two angles given here that'll be 180 minus 31 plus 85 that's angles of a triangle then from here we have it as 64 degrees that is 180 minus 116 degrees 
is 54 degrees. Then um, we look at the second triangle from triangle ABC. This is 64, and we just calculated this angle to be 64, which means this is 8564, 8564. So we can draw conclusion from there that uh, angle B, if you look at it from triangle XYZ, is equal to 31 degrees. So this is Z is 31, B is 31, X is 85, C is 85, and Y is 64, A is 64. So we can see now that there are similar triangles. So we are going to state the triangles in the correct order of their similarities. So stating that, I told you we should just pick triangle X, Y, Z is similar to what angle is equal to x in the second triangle angle x here is 85 degrees so c is 85 degrees so we have it as c then angle y y is 64 degrees so a is 64 degrees we have a a and a z z is 31 degrees b is 31 degrees so we have it as a b we have again stated these triangles in the correct order of their similarities so what we do now is state the ratios of their corresponding sides so stating the ratio of their corresponding sides we have a x y over c a is equal to y z over a b equal to x z over c b so that is that then we now substitute in the values of the sides x y x y is one of the sides we are looking for so we have it x y over c a c a is six so that's over six equal to y z y z is 10 centimeters over a b a b is unknown so we have it as 10 over AB. This is equal to XZ. XZ is 15 centimeters. We have 15 over CB. CB is 9. So we have 15 over 9. So we have the three ratios equal to one another. We pair first two. Oh, no. We are going to pair. Uh, the first and the last so we keep the middle ratio making x y the subject of the relation so we have 6 times 15 that will give us a 90 over 9 so 9 divided by 9 gives 1 90 divided by 9 gives 10 so x y is 10 centimeters so we are done getting the value of x y then again what we do is to pair the last two ratios so we keep the first ratio so we have 10 over xb is equal to 15 over 9 we make ab the subject of the relation that's 10 times 9 which gives 19 divided by this 15 15 goes into 15 gives 1 90 divided by 15 gives 6 so ab is equal to 6 centimeters and then uh, with this we have calculated the unknown angle here to be 64 degrees unknown angle here to be 31 degrees the unknown side that is x y to be 10 centimeters and a b to be 6 centimeters and we have done justice to problem 3 we go to the next problem so problem 4 show that the diagram below contains two similar triangles and hence find the length of side bc bc okay we are finding the length of this side bc now we have triangle abc and we have triangle cxy so in our solution to this problem we are going to show that from triangle abc which angle A is equal to the other angle in 
C X Y the same thing which angle B is equal to the other angle there and angle C starting from angle A we know that this AB is parallel to XY and uh, XB and AY are transversals so we can form Z angle here alternate angles you see this Z angle that means angle at A is equal to angle at Y. So we have A is equal to Y, that is alternate angles. In the same way, B, angle B, we can form another Z, that is angle at B here is equal to angle at X, therefore B is equal to X, still alternate uh, angles. Then the next thing is angle C. If you look at this, these two lines are crossing each other. So we are going to have vertically opposite angles there. So the angle at ABC will still be the same angle C at what? CXY. So we have it as angle C, which is vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. Now we are going to state the triangles in the correct order of their similarities to be A, B, C and that is similar to what? Y, X, C so we just bring it in this order like this so we are there we now form the ratios of their corresponding sides to enable us calculate B, C so we have a A, B over yx is equal to bc over xc is equal to ac over yc so ab here is 8 centimeters over yx yx is 4 centimeters is equal to bc bc that is the angle that is the side we are looking for so we have bc over xc 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 is three that's over three since we are not more interested in the third ratio because what we are looking for here is bc and it's already contained in the ratios we have formed and uh, that is the only unknown even though ac is not known and yc is not also known so we don't need to bother ourselves looking for the values of ac and yc so we can just make bc the subject of the relation here so our bc is going to be 8 times 3 which is uh, 24 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 4 gives 1 24 divided by 4 gives uh, 6 therefore bc is equal to 6 centimeters so we have done justice to problem 4 and that's the highest we can take in this tutorial check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to more videos of similar triangles and related uh, topics i hope you enjoyed this lesson please like and share this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel until i come your way again goodbye